One of the most important things you're going to need to do when installing a combi oven, whether it's a 6 pan, 10 pan, or a 20 pan, is to do the CO2 gas percentage analysis. And in this case, the 20 pan will have two burner chambers, whereas the 6 and the 10 pan only have one burner. The reason it's so important to do the CO2 gas analysis during an installation, we want to make sure that we have a proper combustion burn for the combi oven and more on the safety side of it so we don't emit any carbon monoxide during the combustion process. So in this segment, we're gonna go ahead and do a CO2 gas analysis. We'll go ahead and cover the percentage that it should be at for proper combustion. There's a range that we will get into to discuss uh, the proper range that you would have with it. And in addition to that, if for whatever reason it is out of range, we're gonna show how to make the adjustment to get it in the correct range. So now we'll go ahead and get into the controls here and see what that looks like. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do in the controls, you will need to tap the device function, go to settings, enter the pin number 999, check mark. And now we can see we're getting into our gas CO2 settings. So the first thing we're going to do to clarify is where it says cooking chamber one. Well, let's go on around and we're gonna take a look. But when we start talking about cooking chamber one, we are talking about our upper burning chamber. So we have our, our burner blower, our gas valve, our ignition module. So this would be cooking chamber one, which is the top. Then when we go back and we're gonna switch over to cooking chamber two, Give that a tap. Well, then that would be an indication then of our lower cooking chamber. And this then would be the lower or cooking chamber two. And you can even see the large exhaust. You can see large exhaust then going up and out for cooking chamber two. And right up in here is where we're gonna end up putting our flue gas analyzer gun into check our CO2 percentage for optimal burn. For optimal combustion for a natural gas unit, really what you're looking to do is comparison of your at partial load or low fan speed in comparison to your full load of high fan speed. So when you check for your percentages, your CO2 percentages, and you have 9.2, would be your reading in comparison to your partial load or low fan speed, you just need a difference of 0.05 to 1.2. So whatever your low fan speed is, as long as it subtracts between 0.5 and 1.2 from your high fan speed or full load CO2 percentage, then you're good to go. If not, then you would need to do an adjustment. And one thing you'll notice as we're going through this screen to explain it, we have our temperature here. Once we get up to the correct temperature, which is gonna be around 265 to 300 and some degrees, this will change over into green. And that's an indication then that you can go ahead and put your flue gas analyzer into the exhaust. We'll start with cooking chamber one, and we're gonna go ahead and we'll start out in what we would call low fan speed but as far as how it's laid out on the commissioning report, it'll be the second one on there and it is referred to as partial load. So partial load is an indication of low fan speed. And then it's just a matter of tapping our start button. Keep a close eye on here, see if gas heating request comes on for the green LED. Kind of hear our blower coming on for our burner. Green LED comes on. We have ignition, now we have flame detected, so our flame sensor is detecting our flame. And you also notice right up in here then, it's an indication of flame. So we need to wait until this gets turns green before we can go ahead and do our flue gas analysis to, uh, for our CO2. In the meantime, while that's going on, we're gonna go on over here. What we have set up here away from the exhaust we have our flue gas analysis machine. So in order to do this properly, we're gonna go ahead, we have to turn it on. And it has to purge for 30 seconds. 
And you want to make sure when it's doing its purging and everything, but you want to make sure you have no moisture or anything in, in your filter chamber right here. And you want to make sure that your end, the gun portion here, needs to be away from the exhaust currently while it's purging. So we're just going to set it all right here and let it purge. In the meantime, we're going to wait until our combi oven gets up to the uh, set temperature. And really what we're going to be reading then is we're going to get our, we'll get our CO2 percentage and we're going to get our, our parts per million for CO. Why it's important on the parts per million of the CO is that's carbon monoxide and that uh, could be lethal to your health. It has to be below 1,000 parts per million on the CO or the carbon monoxide. And we are doing it then for natural gas. Okay, so we can see now that we're almost to, to 265 Fahrenheit. So now we're at 268. We can go ahead and take our flue gas analyzer gun and put it into the exhaust of the cooking chamber one or the upper cooking chamber. Also something to note is that you can regulate or it bypasses the door switch safety so you can regulate the temperature by using, by opening the door. I can go ahead and open the door to kind of regulate the temperature. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a step ladder on hand because the 20 pan combi oven is so tall. So now we can go ahead and take our flue gas analysis sensing probe and we need to put it into the exhaust outlet of the combustion chamber. However, before we do that, we need to make sure that we have our setting here to three to four inches. It's just a little set screw right here. You get it about three to four inches, you're gonna tighten that down. So tighten that down with it. And keep in mind, after you do your flue gas analysis and you remove the flue gas analysis sensing probe out, this will be hot, so don't touch it. So now we can go ahead and put our probe into the exhaust outlet. Until we get our, our reading. So let's go ahead and get our CO2 reading. Low fan speed, our partial load. We're at 7.90 parts per million, which is good. So it's 8.1% zero parts per million on our carbon monoxide. So we can go ahead and stop. I'm gonna go ahead then and close my door. Now I need to go ahead and do it in high fan speed. So let me tap to change over to high fan speed. But before I go ahead and press the start, I'm gonna to have to go all the way back on over here. And I, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my gun out, pull this out. We'll go ahead and set it down here. We're gonna set it down here. Wait till it zeroes out. And the main reason I wanna go ahead and, and pull that out is because now it's transitioning over to the high fan speed or the full load on the commissioning report as it's stated on there. I just don't want that big burst of, of heat or gas to hit my flue gas analyzer and disrupt it and throw it all out of whack. So now I'm gonna go ahead and once again, we're doing cooking chamber one, which is the upper. And I'm gonna go into high fan speed or full load. This is my temperature, I'm already in the green. So it's just a matter of I need to go ahead and hit start. Once I tap start, once again, we're gonna watch right here.
LED. Flame sense is green now. We're at 293, we have flame. We'll go ahead and open our door a little bit. Now we can regulate our temperature. We're at zero percentage. So now I can go ahead and take my blue gas analyzer gun and we'll go ahead and put it in the exhaust. Now we can see we're at 9.2%. At zero parts per million. So then we go on over. We can see our 271 CO2 settings, high fan speed. Go ahead and hit stop. Go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and remove our gun out. Now one thing to, to be aware of, this is very hot, so don't touch it. You need to let this set down or set it somewhere where it can cool off uh, before you touch it. Okay, so that's how we did cooking chamber one. It's a matter of, of writing down your percentages. You wanna make sure you, you take those and really what you're looking for is a difference between your high fan speed and your low fan speed. And the main thing we're looking for there is that we're in between, the difference between those two is between 0.5% and 1.2%. So we're good to go there. In addition to that, our parts per million, meaning our, our uh, carbon monoxide parts per million was below 1,000 parts per million. So no adjustments would uh, need to be made. And let's go ahead and make note of that in our commissioning report checklist. In addition to this, now you're gonna go ahead and repeat the same procedure for cooking chamber two. So you'll have to do low fan speed and high fan speed then for cooking chamber two, which is our lower cooking chamber.